everyone. I'm very pleased to be here to join this forum. The topic of my presentation is low altitude target detection technology based on 5G base station. I will introduce this topic from the following four aspects. Recent years, with the rapid rise of UAV high-tech companies such as DJI and the further opening of low altitude airspace, the civil UAV market has further expanded. But drones are often used for privacy snooping and terrorist attacks, posing a significant threat to social security. So, how to achieve the effective detection and control of low altitude small targets has become an urgent security problem. At present, there are three main technical means a source, uh, acoustic detection, photoelectric detection, and radar detection. Large urban noise can easily drown out the sound of the propeller. The range of Oxidic detection is limited to a relatively close range, so acoustic detection is not suitable for unmanned area vehicles in cities. Optical schemes have high recognition accuracy, but they are easily affected by weather. Although traditional radar is unaffected by time and weather, however, it is difficult to separate the echo of low altitude target from strong ground or object clutter and strong noise. Compared with the traditional monostatic radar, the bi-static radar adopts the design and that the receiver and the transmitter are separated and mainly utilizes the forward scattering characteristics of electromagnetic waves. When the target is in the forward scattering region of biostatic radar, its RCS can be increased by more than 10 dB. And the echo signal will be greatly enhanced, so biostatic radar is more suitable for detecting low altitude small targets with relatively small RCS. However, the large-scale installation of radar transmitter has a strong impact on the city's electromagnetic environment and disturbs the original communication environment. But uh, if the existing communication signal of the city is used as a radar radiation source, electromagnetic pollution can not only be effectively avoided, but also the cost can be saved. Compared with other communication signals, 5G signal is more suitable for radar radiation signal. Uh, based on the above background, I propose a low altitude target detection scheme based on our urban 5G space station. This scheme is mainly composed of 5G base signal base station and a radar receiver. Using 5G signals as radar radiation sources, when the target crosses the baseline formed by 5G base stations and receivers, the target will radiate forward scattered waves and be received by the radar receiver. When the target passes the baseline, the intensity of forward scattered waves is theoretically more than 10 dB greater than background reflected waves, which can effectively detect low altitude small targets. The use of 5G signal as a radar radiation source can rely on the rich electromagnetic resources in the urban environment and make rational use of multiple base station complex dense net networking and multi-agent detection, multi-angle detection. So what about the radar performance of 5G signals combined with other technologies of 5G? The transmission speed of 5G signal will increase by more than 20 times, which greatly speeds up the transmission speed of data, shortens the response time, reduces the data delay, and solves signal synchronization problem of transmitting and receiving based in some traditional biostatic radars. At the same time, uh, in the 5G era, we have smaller antenna size, narrow beam, which take better direct directivity, higher resolution, better positioning accuracy.
It can resolve smaller targets closer together and observe more details. Known to the range resolution of biostatic runner is negatively correlated with biostatic angle and single band widest. Uh, through simulating the range resolution by formula, we know that by simulation. The figure above can be obtained by simulating the formula of range resolution. It can be observed from the finger that with the increase of biostatic angle, its range resolution becomes worse. Uh, when the biostatic angle is 175 degrees, that is, when it is about to cross the baseline, its range resolution is about 170 miles, with the bandwidth is to 20 megahertz of 4G signal and uh, and each mouse with the bandwidth rises to uh, 400 megahertz when the biostatic angle becomes 155 degrees the range resolution is as low as 1.7 miles when the signal bandwidth is 400 megahertz under the same biostatic angle the range resolution is improved by 20 times which greatly increases the visibility of distinction between two objects that are closer. Therefore, 5G signals have more outstanding advantages than other external radiation source signals. Velocity resolution refers to the ability of radar to distinguish two moving targets with similar velocities. The velocity resolution of radar is mainly related to the signal frequency. F0 and uh, coherent integration time t. Through the simulation results in the finger above, we know when the coherence time is one second, the velocity resolution is FR2. In FR2 is below 0.14 miles per second. It shows the powerful velocity uh, resolution of 5G millimeter wave band signal. Uh, beam forming is to replace the original signal antenna with an antenna area composed of multi antennas so that it can generate radiation signals with narrow beams pointing into a specific direction rather than being radi radiated in a 360 degree direction, wasting most of the energy in free space. Beam forming makes the radiation power reaching the designated target higher and makes the target which may with more ICS receive greater radiation power. At the same time, the multipass effect is weakened. The interference, interference is reduced and the probability of finding small targets is also improved. This application also reduces the beam widest which brings higher resolution and lower power consumption to radar target detection. Uh, massive MIMO refers to uh, multi-channel input and output, which can establish contact with multiple users on the same channel, receive and send data at the same time. The combination of massive MIMO and uh, B forming makes the 5G signal have the char characteristics of beam space multiplexing, um, which greatly improves the spectral effect efficiency. The scanning rate of 5G signal as radar signal is also improved, and the target can be found faster without uh, affecting its communication performance. And uh, the increase of the number of antennas also increases the radar gain and uh, makes the echo power of small targets stronger. Uh, this presentation mainly discusses the low altitude target detection technology based on 5G base station and uh, proposes a new urban low altitude target detection scheme using 5G signals as radar radiation sources and the 5G base station and the radar transmitter will be combined into one. Uh, when the target crosses the baseline formed by 5G stations and receivers, 
the target will radiate forward the scattered waves and uh, be received by the radar receiver and the intensity of forward scattered waves is theoretically more than 10 dB greater than backward reflected waves which can effectively detect low altitude small targets. Verify the, the good radar performance of 5G signal. The radar performance index of 5G signal is simulated and analyzed, which verifies that 5G signals have better velocity, velocity resolution and range solution. Analyzes the advantage of communication signal as radar radiation signal, the advantages of 5G MMW, beamforming and large-scale MIMO in using 5G signals as radar radiation signal are analyzed theoretically. Uh, demonstrate the feasibility of 5G signal as radar detection signal. Okay, thank you all for listening.
my report title is Review of Research on Gesture Recognition Based on Render Technology. Okay, let's begin. Today I will give three contents, include the introduction, recognition process, and the conclusion. Firstly, let's introduction. We all know in recent years, with the advantage of artificial intelligence and machine learning technology, the relationship between human-computer interaction technology and people daily life has become increasingly close. Traditional contact human-computer interaction machine such as keyboard and mice has been unable to meet the need of people's lives. Researchers has begun to develop themselves to the development of new non-contact human computer interaction methods including gesture recognition. Okay, let's let's introduction some picture. This is the disk glove, and uh, this is the Microsoft Knight, and uh, this is the project Sony. With the help of this internet technology, users do not need operate written device. They can literally control electro device through the movement of finger and palm. Early gesture recognition technology mainly used the wearable and electronic device to directly detect the ob obtained information of human hand, like this this glove. And then, in we uh, the wearable device based on optional marked uh, method uh, is also good detect performance and uh, robustness. Later, gesture recognition technology based on visual image had gradually development like this the night. Then, the project solely has used the render to get the information of gesture. Okay, let's in, let's see the competitive analysis. This is a dead glove. Uh, the wearable electronic device sensor are used to detect and uh, perceive the special position information of the human hand and wearable joint, thereby achieve the purpose of gesture recognition. But uh, it has the complex technology operation and expensive equipment. Then the visual image gesture recognition like lights using image acquire increment and computer vision technology to perceive, check and recognition gesture, but uh, it's limited by light condition. There are security issues with the prevent liquid. So, the solely use vendor sensor to detect and collect gesture information, perform future extraction and gesture recognition after pro processing. It has the advantage of our weather and all time. Effective protection of user prevent information, minimum and high flexible. Okay, let's introduce the recognition process. Generally, gesture recognition based on random technology can be divided into three major steps. First, the vendor sensor is used to collect the user gesture data. And then, we need data processing and future action and classification recognition. Then, we get the results. So, Let's to look the step. Firstly, the gesture data collection. At present, for the vendor gesture recognition system, the vendor transmission signal used by the researchers can be mainly classified into categories according, according to the frequent band. 
one is connected in the key bench and below, and the other mainly use the media reason. We get less of the frequency band. Most of the band signal we were correctly use the continuous wave system, which are favored by research for the advantage of low power consumption, miniaturization, and highly reliable. So, gesture data processing. The main purpose of the RAND gesture signal processing is to convert a one destination gesture signal into a two destination signal containing both time domain and the frequent domain information. So, for example, look at this three picture. So, you can see this some. Um, Gesture data processing. The first picture has some information of gesture. Then the second picture has a range information. The second picture has the some digital information. Yeah, the three picture content both time domain and the frequent domain information. So the future extra action. The purpose of the future interaction is to remove resident information in gesture data and uh, extract as much as possible the factor quantity that can meet the discrimination of different gadgets. For example, we use the vendor to get two different gestures. The This one is a passport gesture, and uh, this one is a overlapping gesture. We can see the different uh, in the two picture, firstly, the in the first picture we can see the sign, yeah, sign picture. The different catcher has a different future. We can classify the different in the among the two picture, and uh, then we can see the recognition allergy reason for the render system capture recognition technology the correct uh, mainstream recognition allergy includes a temper machine matching based method method based on statistical learning and the method based on deep learning so we can see this picture contains the render capture recognition allergies. It contains three aspects. The one is the template matching, and the second one is the statistical learning, and the last one is deep learning. Yeah, the template print matching concludes the desert. Destinated time wiping. It can called DTW and the statistical learning content the SVM support vector machine. King is the neighbor is the King in head market model HIM. The deep learning content two aspects. One is the conclusion Neural networks is the CNA. The recurrent uh, neural network is the RNA. So we can some competitive analysis in this in the, the common energy reserves. <coughs> we all know some energy reserves has disadvantage and. Uh, Disadvantage. For example, the DTW need less training sample need and a highly recognition accuracy, but a highly computational complex and poorly stable. Then 
The SVM can effectively solve small, simple, high destination, non-linear problem and uh, has strong generation ability. But when the number of the training sample is large, the effective efficient is low. <coughs> then the key in this. A large rhythm is simple and easy to understand, but it needs to take up a lot of string space. Time complex is hard. Each IMM can efficiently capture the collector in meeting, but training process is more comfortable. The training time is long, and the amount of the calculate is large. Deep learning contains CNN. CNN no need to extra future manually white theory, but it requires a lot of training data and a high computational cost. RN can be used to describe the output of continuous state in time with memory function white theory, but poor parallel computing power and the large amount of the calculation. So the render gesture technology is ex exciting some problems. We can see four problems in this article. In this article, the first one, random capture recognition in complex screener. Two, multi-view data fusion of multi-render sensor. Three, random capture recognition on the multi-user. And uh, the last one, highly requirement for training date. The conclusion. The development of render capture recognition technology has brought a new way of human computer interaction with the advantage of science and technology. Intelligence render capture recognition system is an important development direction in this future. So, machine learning is the core technology of article intelligence. Combining machine learning with the random gesture recognition is a good solution. Yeah. My, this article in order to know the development con context of random gesture recognition and predict the possible future development trade. The research and the development of gadget recognition based on rent technology in recent years was sought out. Focusing on key technologies such as depth gesture information present, gadget signal processing, and future interaction in render gesture recognition technology, and the classification origins for gesture recognition. The Prevalent literature published at home and abroad is summarized and the extreme method are summarized. The perform of the system is analyzed and evaluated. The problem to be solved in the research direction are sought out and the future research direction are prosperized. Result to show that the rent gesture recognition technology has made great process in human computer interaction applications. So, with the deep of the relevant research, the gesture recognition system based on render technology will develop towards intelligence. So. That's, that's all. Thanks for your attention. Okay, thank you.
Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, thank you very much for listening. I uh, briefly introduce um, my paper, the analysis of the influence of convolutional layer in deep convolutional neural network on star target recognition. Uh, this is a table of the contents. It's mainly a post uh, fix suspects introduction. Um, SI image target detection method based on deep convolutional neural network. The effects of the number of convolution kernels on uh, recognition uh, performance. The effects of a convolution kernel size on recognition performance. The effects of the number of convolutional layers on recognition performance. Uh, and that's the conclusion. The first part of the introduction. I know the the star, the synthetic optogen reader, has a branch of a microwave remote sensory, obtains ground object information through the interaction between electromagnetic waves and the various meter. But from the perspective of star image target uh, detection and uh, recognition algorithm, its essence is to base on the ugly, uh, acquisition of the image features and the designs of feature usage rules. For example, the most commonly used target detection algorithm based on constant false alarm rate, uh, it's called CFAR, is mainly used the grayscale features of star images. The feature extraction rules of these methods are often manually designed. While in practical application, when the most of the data is too large and the data is too complex, the features extracted in this way are usually not representative and cannot represent the uniqueness between different types of data. But this limits the accuracy of detection and uh, recognition. The star target detection methods based on the deep convolutional neural network, or CNN, constructs a uh, constructor containing a multiple deep neural networks to transform the original data into a higher level and a more uh, abstract expressions using combination of nonlinear mapping relationships. While well, compared with a method based on the uh, Perlin classification methods, such as uh, support vectors, machines, and the tra tra traditional neural networks, uh, these have the ability to extract uh, features uh, uh, to uh, manually uh, compared with a deep neural network and architecture such as uh, uh, restricted uh, body man machines and uh, uh, auto encoders. CNN has more advantages in image classification and uh, uh, target uh, recognition and has achieved more achievement. With the widespread recognition of CNN uh, optical image processing in recent years is also set off for a research bomb uh, in the field of star target recognition. Mm -hmm. uh, second part, well, the CNN, due to its powerful feature extraction capabilities, not only has made great achievements and widespread recognition in optical image processing, but also achieved a better uh, recognition rate than traditional uh, recognition method in star target recognition. Well, however, the, the accuracy, the uh, the, the time uh, line is the, the generation of deep CN in star target recognition needs to be further explored, uh, mainly at these uh, three aspects. One is in terms of the recognition accuracy, different uh, activation factions, uh, regularization factions, number of comma, Lucian kernels and factors such as size have different uh, effect on the recognition rate. Second part, second, in terms of recognition uh, timeliness, changing the convolutional uh, layer structure parameters settings with, uh, within a certain range is uh, beneficial to the improvement of the uh, recognition rate and it also uh, often increases the amount of network calculation and the training time. It is not uh, conductive to the uh, timelines of the recognition. Uh, 
Third, in terms of the recognition uh, generalization, I think there are multiple variants of the same types of target, and uh, sorry, main target has uh, attitude sensitivity. The recognition network needs to extract more robust and uh, generalized features. While we re in response to the above problems, uh, this paper studied the star target recognition method based on deep CNN. First, based on the cl a classic convolutional network, uh, LENET5, it is improved to construct the basic structure of star target recognition network, or we can call star LENET. Uh, and the influence of the activation functions and the regularization functions on recognition performance is analyzed. Then each volume of the uh, the, uh, the effect of the number and size of the uh, convolution kernels of the build-up layers on the recognition performance is uh, comparatively analyzed. Again, in order to explore the impact of the number of network convolutional layers on the recognition performance, the basic network is uh, deformed by the layer replacement ID, and the number of convolutional layers is increased. We are keeping the training time of the network basically unchanged. Finally, the um, optimized the uh, SAR linear network structure for the uh, generalization of the network. Yeah, use a dense block network structure to merge multiple convolutional layer features and use the convolutional layers to replace the fully connected layer to increase. Well, uh, to increase uh, uh, the, the sparseness of the network. And at the same time, uh, the optimized network, uh, we can see StarNet is trained with data uh, augmentation and uh, expansion trainings to set to further improve the generalization of the uh, recognition network. Uh, the th third part, well, in the setting of the number of SAR uh, LINET uh, convolution kernels, uh, keep the size of the uh, convolution net kernels of the three layers unchanged, uh, keep the, the number of the uh, convolution kernels of the three layers the same and set a number of convolution kernels to 8, 15, uh, uh, 32, 40, uh, uh, 64, 128, respectively, and uh, the 256, whereas A1 to A6 represents a network with six different convolution kernels configuration. The time loss of the network uh, conversion layer increases by four times. At the same time, A7, A8, A9 are the set of the basic of fixed orders of um, magnitude. The network parameters of the nine different uh, conversion kernels are set as shown in the table one. And this is the result. In the experiment, uh, uh, the SOC data set is used for training and testing. Or during the training process, the recognition rate curve of the test set is shown in Figure 1, and the network training time uh, consumption is shown in Figure 2. While well, comparing the recognition rate curve of A1, A2, and A3, it can be seen that as the number of convolution kernels increases, the recognition rate of the network increases greatly. Well, from A3 to A5, the recognition rate increases less and less. The accuracy increases only by uh, 1% uh, or less. And the recognition rate from A5 to A6 has dropped. The result of the six networks show that the number of the convolution kernels in A1, A2, and A3, the network is not enough to meet the network's demand for the number of feature maps. The increase in number of the feature maps in A3, 4, and A5 networks weakens the recognition rate. While recognition performance tends to be uh, saturated, and A6, due to the excessive number of feature maps, easily leads to network overfitting, and the recognition rate drops instead. While comparing the A7 and A8 networks, the total number of conv uh, convolution kernels is the same. But the number of uh, CON1 uh, and this, the features maps are reversed because SAR linet as a pooling 
layer to each convolutional layer to reduce the uh, dimensionality, the size of the uh, convert uh, two features map uh, is half of uh, the uh, convert one. Uh, convert one consumes more time than uh, convert two under the same number of convolutional kernels. Therefore, the training time of A8 network is, is 13 seconds uh, longer than that uh, A7 network, and the recognition rate of the two is basically the same. When comparing A9 and A4, the number of A9 convolutional kernels is 32 more than that of A4, uh, but the training time is uh, seven, uh, time, uh, 7 seconds or less. Well, the third part, while well, the size of convolutional kernels represent the size of a uh, receptionist field, while well, in the performance study of the size of convolutional kernels based on the A5 network with the highest recognition rate and the A1 network with the lowest recognition rate, the convolutional kernel size is selected from 3, 5, uh, 7, 9, well, four size uh, four networks are obtained uh, based on the A5 network, and namely uh, B1, B2, B3, B4 are based on the A1 network. Six networks are obtained, name, name, namely B5, B, B6, B7, uh, B8, B9, B10. The size of convolution kernels for each network is shown to the table. Uh, the, six, uh, uh, the result, the experiment, the SOC data that has, uh, was used for training and testing. Otherwise, you have the training process. The recognition rate curves of the test set are showing figure 3 and figure 5, and the network training time consumption is showing in figure 4 and figure 6. We found the above uh, experimental results when the number of the convolutional kernel is set to 128, since the number of network convolutional kernels is specifically separated. The size of the convolutional kernel has little effect on recognition performance, and the network training time increases as the size of convolutional kernel increases. While comparing the five uh, networks of A5 and B1 uh, to B4, A5 has a best recognition performance, while well, indicating that different convolutional kernel size combinations are more conductive to the network extraction features of different scales, which is uh, conductive to the improvement of network recognition rate. And A5 uh, also counts for uh, uh, time dynasty excellence. But that's the uh, fifth part. While well, in general, increasing the number of convolutional layers can improve the accuracy of recognition and easily increase the risk of network overfitting. This section contains to use uh, the study net and the basic to explore the influence of different number of convolutional layers in network recognition performance. Well, in the parameter, the associated data set is used for the training and testing. This can be seen from the network training time. Um, the layer replacement I, uh, idea basically keeps the network time oriented and changed but from the point of view of uh, recognition rate the recognition rate of the network after increasing the number of convolution layer is higher than that of the C network, while indicating that the C network is not saturated in the network depths. Increasing the network depths can effectively improve the recognition rate. Among them, the C3 network has higher recognition rate. The C network has increased by uh, 1.26%, which is the largest improvement while well, comparing phase 3, phase 4, and D6. Although the number of phase 4 and D6 convolutional layer is uh, 2 more than uh, 3 due to the saturation of the recognition promise, the network has very high degree of overfitting, and the recognition rate is instead decreased. For networks with the same number of convolutional layers, the recognition rate of the three network is higher than that of D3, D4, and D5 network. And the recognition rate of the C1 and C2 network is higher than that of D1 and D2, indicating that the combination of the net number and the size of different convolutional kernels can identify the network and also bring a certain impact. Well, in the combination of convolutional layers, the recognition rate of C3 and D3 network is higher than on the networks, indicating that the matching method of convolutional box this uh, uh, network structure is more suitable for the target feature extraction.
Well, the last part is the conclusion that based on the above analysis, it can be seen that the number of different uh, collusion journals not only affects the recognition rate of the network, but also affects the uh, timeline uh, of the network. When setting the number of convolution kernels, uh, when the total number of convolution kernels in the uh, network remain unchanged, the number of uh, the shadow uh, convolution kernels can be appropriately reduced. But the number of deep convolution kernels can be appropriately increased, which will help increase um, well, we will have improved the uh, timeline of the network while comparing the influence of the number of and um, the size of conversion kernels on the recognition program in the solid net. It can be concluded that the number of conversion kernels has greater impact on the uh, recognition network performance than the size of the conversion kernel. Uh, when the number of conversion kernel is set, Related, the size of a convolution kernel has a little effect on the network performance. But when the number of convolution kernels is insufficient, increasing the size of a convolution kernel is in a conductive to a very high recognition rate. While the size of combination is more conductive to network feature extraction and the scale of the first layer of convolution uh, kernel is relatively large. And the, that's to increasing the number of size of the convolution kernel will increase the training time of the network. Okay, thank you much for your listening. Bye.
Hello, dear teachers. I'm Liang Yinping from Beijing Institute of Technology. It's a great honor to attend this meeting. The topic I want to share today is a real-time two-stage detector for static monitor using Gaussian mixture model for region proposal. At present, there are mainly several kinds of target detection in a video under static sense. First, the method based on frame difference. The video sequence acquired by camera has the feature of a continuity. If there is no moving target in the screen, the change of success frames is very slight. And if there is moving target, there will be significant change between successive frames. The temporal difference method is a reference to the above ideas. Because the target in the screen is moving, the position of the target image in different image frames is also different. Second, the method based on background modeling. Hybrid Gaussian background modeling is a background rep representation method based on the statistical information of pixel samples. By using the statistical information, such as the probability density of a large number of samples values of a pixel in a long period of time, the complex background can be modeled, which requires a large amount of computation. Third, the method based on filtering. A common uh, filter is an algorithm to optimize uh, data processing. In many cases, it is the most efficient and uh, optimal method to solve most of the optimal problems. For video mean object detection, through a simple matching method to target state of the first and the second frames, uh, we can use the current frame image to detect the results about the values input to the Kalman filter. Uh, and the correction results is considered to be the target in the current frame of real state. And the last is the method based on deep learning. With the development of convolutional neural networks, some target detection algorithms based on deep learning also shows excellent pre uh, performance. Uh, some popular algorithms can be divided into two categories. One of which is the RCN system algorithm based on region proposal, such as the RCN, fast RCN, and uh, fast RCN. Uh, there are two stages. Uh, there are two stage, and the algorithm needs to generate the target quadrant box, namely the target position, and then make classification and regression for the quadrant to X. The other type is the one stage. Uh, algorithm, such as YOLO and uh, SSD, which only uses a convolutional neural network to directly predict the categories and predictions of different targets. The first method is more accurate, but uh, much slower, which is while well, the second algorithm is faster but less accurate. Our a lack of a data size is one of the opti uh, one of the problems for training uh, an end-to-end -end detector for the data uh monitor. Um, it inspired us to think, can we use a efficient mixture model for region proposal and a lightweight convolutional neural network trained on image detection data size for classification and uh, uh, regression? Uh, let's first look at the uh, fast RCN. It uses uh, region proper neural networks to uh, propose the region of interest, uh, namely the ROI, uh, and then put these uh, regions into uh, our I polling layers and then make the uh, further regression and the classifier. Uh, the, we can divide it into uh, three parts the backbone, 
uh, IP9 and the detector head. Uh, well, the backbone and is very large, and the RPN uh, module consume a lot of uh, computation. Uh, we uh, we think we can replace these uh, modules into a much lightweight module. Then we make some different. Uh, for first, we replace the IPN night uh, by G uh, Gaussian mixture model. Uh, which means that we can use this model to uh, do the background modeling for uh, videos, uh, which is much, uh, much light and uh, not that computational expensive. Uh, then we replace the backbone uh, VGG into the uh, much light weight uh, backbone, uh, which we call the mobile night. And uh, we added, we also added a uh, uh, context instance module to uh, extract uh, more information from the lower feature maps. Uh, in the CN part, we follow the frameworks of recent two-stage detection. Uh, this frame is based on the fast CN, and then we use GMM and uh, a lightweight backbone to build our whole model. Uh, we also use some tricks on the ROI process, uh, which pro uh, we should uh, produce more, much more ROIs uh, to ensure the accuracy of the detection. Uh, that's the main uh, improvements of our model. Uh, for the first, we delete the region proposal network, and then we use Gaussian mixture model for region proposal. Uh, Third, we use the Bionite and the Bamboo, and we added uh, an extra context in his model to fill in the context information. The Gaussian mixer uh, model uh, is quite simple. Then, uh, uh, which, which splits the uh, uh, foreground of uh, from the background. Uh, we use this uh, moving region and the uh, uh, ROI, we, and then this ROI was sent to the uh, region po uh, ROI polling layers. And then, uh, as we can see, we use the Gaussian mixture model to extract a uh, much better uh, region. Uh, thus, we can use a lightweight backbone to reduce the computation uh, cost. Uh, in, uh, thus, we use um, Bionite to replace the uh, very large model of HG. Uh, and then we use the uh, condensing model to extract more information from the uh, lower layers. Uh, this means we uh, extract the layer 9 from the backbone and uh, use uh, an extra 3 uh, extra three multiplies three depth wise convolutional uh, convolution to uh, make a mixture of the uh, lower and uh, higher features. Uh, thus, our inferring process uh, can be divided into four stages. For the first stage, we extract the frames from the video. Uh, then we use the Gaussian mixed model to make the foreground extraction. Uh, the foreground uh, region was uh, regarded as the ROI and was and then this ROIs are sent into the uh, ROI polling layers. Uh, these layers with uh, uh, extra feature vectors or the uh, further uh, regress regression uh, with the detector and the make. We also use the CN to make the classification. Uh, to reduce the problems caused by Gaussian mixture model, we also use some tricks such as uh, the multi uh, multi multi region uh, tricks. Uh, this means we can produce much more RIs to send into the RI polling layers, uh, which is also much less than the original uh, region proposal neural networks. Uh, and last, we want to uh, pre present our experiments. Uh, we train our model 
on the uh, we'll say 2020 using SGD with a uh, modern term of 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.9. For our currents, we use four scales of 32, uh, 64, uh, 128, and uh, uh, 256, and uh, three ratios. By default, we set the uh, uh, positive threshold of uh, 0 0.6 and the negative uh, 0 0.3. Note that unlike large detectors, we use less regularization such as VDTC and the random dropout, and mobile night and the uh, uh, summer night are much smaller than the original VGG. Too much regularization uh, may make it harder to converge. We also use the pre-trained mobile night on image night to help the model converge faster. The network is trained for 40,000 uh, iterations on VOC 2020 data set. The learning rate drops from initial the, uh, 0 0.001 to 0 0.0001 by a factor of 0 0.1 and uh, uh, 3,000 uh, iterations. Uh, for the validation dataset, we use the uh, MOT dataset uh, because three of uh, the seven videos are from the static uh, monitors. The result uh, shows in the table. Mm. This result shows that our uh, results had a good robustness for still video compared with the original model. Our model has improved in speed and accuracy. At the same time, we also checked the number of targets that several models missed in uh, the video frames. It can be seen that with the increase of frame numbers, the detection effect, effect of Gaussian mixture model after the parameters are optimized and has been significantly improved. That's all, thank you. Thank you.
My name is Liu Yipeng. I will elaborate my article. An optimized the filter denoising method based on EIP contraction. Uh, first of all, I will introduce the abstract of the paper. The speckle noise inherent in synthetic aperture radar images seriously affects the visual effect of the image and uh, brings difficulties to the subsequent inversion and interpretation. However, the exciting star image methods are not effective in protecting the edge details and the dark details. And in this paper, an exponential image processing EIP contraction based leaf filter denoising method is proposed to solve this problem. This method carried out a resemble fast division on the image grid histogram and extracted its filter from it. Such filter is used to contract the image based on the mathematical structure of EIP and divide the filter area of the image to avoid the loss of edge information and dark details. In the end, simulation results have shown that the proposed method is better than traditional methods in denoising. Uh, next, I will recommend background knowledge. Uh, synthetic aperture reader so is an advanced microwave remote sensing reader with good measurement and interference measurement capability, as well as all day or weather. The key to start is to synthesize an antenna with a larger antenna, move, uh, using antenna moving along the track. And there are some problems. Due to the coherence of the star system imaging method, speckle noise will be generated. More precisely, the image is contained contaminated due to the fading of the eco-reflection signal of the ground tiger, which causes the brightness of some areas of the image to change randomly. So it is necessary to suppress the influence of speckle noise and reduce the loss of each information will smoothen the image as far as possible. Therefore, the research, the research of star speckle reduction is a research focus in star imaging processing. And next, we will introduction to the problem. The mathematical model of speckle noise in star images, unlike additive noise, she is a multiplicative noisy. The expression is as follows. Rx, y, w. And uh, there are three kinds of denoising methods. First, multi-wheel processing and uh, special filtering such as the filtering aggressive, first filtering aggressive and transform domain filtering, which is such as the algorithms based on wavelet transform. And then I will introduce the leaf filter. The filter is one of the commonly used special filtering methods based on the minimum mean square error for noise expression. The formula is as follows. Uh, as we all know, it doesn't need to establish an accurate 
statistic model and is designed based on a fully developed multiplicative noisy model. It can be seen that the traditional refuting algorithms process the noisy under the premise of abiding the parameters of the noisy, which assumes that the noisy is fully developed. For partially developed regions, the results of filtering directly using the Lie algorithms is not ideal. And uh, due to the traditional, the filter has the disadvantages of noisy suppression and the insufficient protection of the edge details of the sun image. To this end, the mathematical structure of EIP is introduced and the sun images are corrected based on EIP structure. First, uh, the image correction method based on EIP. From the visual experiments of uh, human eyes, the visual effects of images are generally divided into three situations, dark, bright, and uh, gray values concentrated on middle value area. This also corresponds to the use of different correction functions for images in different situations. And there are three types of correction functions corresponding to this. The grid distribution characteristics of the abatant image are divided and the appropriate correction function is adopted according to the characteristics. The next is we divide the histogram of image into three parts. As we can see, two thresholds are used to divide its grid levels into three sides, which are called dark, middle, and bright. The grid value area of the image represents a probability three division and EDEM respectively represents three areas. The pixels in the image are represented by a grid value and can only belong to one of the three region sites. In addition, elements in a certain site have different uh, effects on the probability distribution of the site. For example, for the site uh, of bright areas, elements with a small grid value have a small effect on the distribution of the site, while green elements with large values have a greater impact on the distribution. This also requires the definition of appropriate grayscale influence principles to describe the different effects of different grayscale values on the distribution. And next, we use three influence measurement function curves by setting A1, A2, A3, and A4. The threshold value T1 and T2 are more in line with people's visual, visual habits of dark, middle, and bright areas. And this is as follows. The probability and uh, the cur function curves. Uh, finally, aiming at the problem of of how to achieve high efficiency noise suppression. It can be seen from previous sections that for some areas where the noise is not fully developed, the result of directly using the Lee algorithm to filter is not ideal to improve the denoising effect of some images. That coefficient of variation is introduced to subdivide the processing area of side magic. 
and the area is divided into three parts and we use different algorithms to filter that area and please note n is the number of sides of image and this is process of the method Then we provide several experiments to evaluate the effectiveness of the proposed method in this article and uh, compare it with other algorithms. Judging from uh, the vision, the first filter algorithm is better than the leaf filter seal. But the overall image is blurry and the visual effect is poor. It filters out the noisy at the cost of losing edge details information. The noise suppression effect of a median filter and the average filter is not good enough and the edge protection effect is not ideal. The original leaf filter agreed a green films has a good effect in protecting edge information, but the noisy suppression ability is poor. The methods we proposed in this paper are better than the selected contrast of green films in terms of noisy suppression and are significant are better than the several types of contrast of algorithms in terms of protecting edge information. And uh, this comparison of noise expression and edge retention effects of the first picture and the second picture. In the end, we give a conclusion of this presentation. This paper proposed a new method and uh, it's achieved filtering and uh, denoising will improve in the accuracy of meeting age information and the image texture detail. So it is worthy of further study. Thank you.
Hello everyone, I'm Yi Xunhe from Control Laboratory and honored to share my study on research on Azimuth's measurement method of CCD camera based on computer 3D vision system. Now I will begin my presentation. My presentation will include these five parts. First, some introduction about this research. Second, the angle measurement principle about our device. Third, the transformation of the coordinate in our module. Fourth, the error analysis of other system. And the last conclusion. Since the 21st century, artificial intelligence technology have developed rapidly and uh, has been widely used in medical treatment, security, autopilot, robotics, in industry intelligent manufacturing, and other fields. Computer vision as an important branch of the artificial intelligence technology receives and processes the image of a real object through the optical device and no contract and other no contract sensors to obtain the required information or device for controlling robot robot movements. As well as the hot topic in the field of computer vision, 3D vision system is an important means of 3D perception and uh, measurement of complex complex environments. Compared with traditional 2D system, 3D system can process and measurement shape-related features such as objects, finance surface area and the value. 3D vision systems are generally divided into three. Vernacular vision system, structure light system, and the time of flight system. CCD camera are the cool sensor of the vernacular vision system and the structure light system. The azimuth of CCD camera has a decisive influence on the measurement precision of the whole 3D vision system. Therefore, accurate measurement the azimuth angle of the camera vision axis can effectively reduce the install error and improve the measurement accuracy of the 3D vision system. This paper propose a method for measuring the azimuth of the CCD camera and can uh, easily accurate measurement by using laser projection transfer method with the cooperation of the horizon 2D tunable and, uh, and the laser uh, li liner laser. In order to accurate measurement of and the calibration of the azimuth angle of the machine vision CCD, laser projection transfer method is used in this system diagram. First of all, the base of the 2D tunable is fixed above the reference object and the Liner laser is fixed on the pinch of the tunable, which required to be perpendicular to the azimuth axis of the tunable. The projection plan on which the laser from the liner laser located in parallel light to the pinch axis to the tunable. The liner laser selects the semiconductor laser. Secondly, the CCD mounting plane is fixed on the tripod. The CCD and the liner laser is fixed on the CCD mounting plane. It requires the projection plane B where 
the laser from the liner laser located it parallel to the CCD vision axis and the liner laser be select semiconduct laser. Third, set up the triple to ensure the level of the platform, turn on the liner laser and guaranteeing a red line on the horizon ground that is projection light of the plan on the horizon ground. Turn on the liner laser B and a green light is guaranteed on the horizon ground that the projection line B of the plan B on the horizon ground. Finally, adjust the azimuth azor of the tunable to make the projection line B parallel to the projection line A. Adjust the pinch axis of the tunable to make sure the projection line A con coincide with the projection line B. In this case, an angle vector output by the azimuth axis angle encoder of the tunable is the angle of the CC division axis. Let the coordinate system of the 2D tunable be OXY, OX, X1, Z1, Y1, and the tunable upside down the room is OX3, Y3, Z3. And the CCD is a CCD coordinate system. In order, in order to realize the transformation from this or co or coordinate system to this CCD coordinate system, the transition coordinate system is established. The coordinate system defined is showing the figure. Then we can we can calculate the coordinate system O X Y X1 Y1 Z1 rotated about the Z axis and uh, causing conversion mystery to the direction of the coordinate system O X2 Y2 Z2 is this C one two and uh, the cosine transformation mystery in in the direction of the frame OX to Y two Z two which is rotated about the Y axis to the frame or uh, from uh, OX three Y three Z three is this C two three. So the conversion mystery from the coordinates O X Y Y one Z one to coordinate O X three Y three Z three is this, and we make some error analysis of our system. First is installation installation error. Uh, if the azimuth axis deflects half angle around the x axis. The angle error of the projection on the X or Y plan was analyzed. To simplify the calculation, analyze uh, the ASM access install error module was was to set up, and uh, the angle measurement error can be expressed as this this equation. So. It, uh, we analyze, we make some angle measurement error analyze. Uh, so we, we found in some condition uh, there is some maximum me angle measurement error. This point or this point. Then we analyze the relationship between the maximum error value of the angle measurement in 1 milli right and uh, the Installation, installation error angle under the condition of the 1 mini ride to 100 mini ride. We also make the error analysis about 
the marrow meant error. The marrow meant error is mainly depend on ocular error of the marrow. So the ocular the ocular error of the marrow is this equation according to the really criterion. Uh, it can be uh, the underlying result is this figure. Um, it can be concluded that the measurement error angle decreases with the increase of the coincidence length and the resolution. Therefore, the senior and the projection line, the collinear the boundary, and the more obvious the construct constructors and the larger of the larger the coincidence area and uh, the smaller the measurement element the smaller the measurement error angle and la last is the conclusion in this paper the liner laser alignment measurement method is applied to 3d vision system the projection character and the measurement method of the 2d vision to the vision um, platform are system analyzed, and the measurement mechanic module is model is obtained to through coordinate transformation of 2D horizon lottery table with CCD camera produced in the process of the laser projection alignment error factors and analyzed and the simulation. The main error divided into this install error and uh, measurement error. The overall error is less than zero or one to many rows rates read and uh, the device has simple uh, has simple and reliable. The advantage of the higher Perspiration and reliable to improve the measurement precision of 3D vision system has important significance. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.
Um, today we will introduce an overspeed capture system based on radar speed measurement and vehicle recognition. And this is today my catalog. An overspeed has always been a very dangerous behavior for people. This may cause a variety of bad consequences such as car accidents. We need to be able to obtain the relevant information of the car while detecting the speeding now so that punishments can be made. Otherwise, the perpetrators can commit the crime again. This paper proposed is a high precision, efficient method for taking photos of speeding vehicles and uh, vehicle recognition. We directly connect the radar speed measurement module with the camera module so that we only have one terminal for the whole system. When the radar module detects that the vehicle is speeding, he will send it directly to the camera module so that it can capture the overspeed vehicle. This accelerates the response to the speed of the camera module. Therefore, when we design image device, device we can lower the requirements for equipment accuracy uh, without reducing equipment accuracy. We can timely capture the image even if we choose a camera with low price and low quality. At the last, we use image processing and template matching to identify the license plate. The whole system has not much equipment and can be installed in a narrow space. And this is all our device structure. This device is mainly composed of five basic structures speed measurement modules, camera module, lighting module, single chip control module, and the computer processing module. It can be seen from figure one that the radar speed measurement module detects the speed in vehicle and sends the signal to the preset single chip microcomputer. And after a single chip microcomputer receives the signal, it controls the computer to take pictures. The photo information is then transmitted to the computer for processing such a license plate number reading. Due to the requirement to realize all weather monitor, we choose to add a light source to supplement light when taking photos. Figure 1 shows the composition of our entire device. And this is the special speed measurement model. We have found many vehicle speed measurement methods currently in use, mainly the following five. Pure use a video detection to measure speed. The work was in support of using an uncalibrated traffic measurement roadside cameras for automatic speed estimates. They constructed an activity region using moving vehicle edges and uh, some differences in the activity region in consecutive images were used as a testing criterion for recalibrating the camera. Xin Yijiang studied the speed measurement capacity and the speed resolution capacity of radar. For high speed roads with single direction, microwave radar is the best partner for high speed cameras. The high speed cameras receive the high-speed moving vehicle detected by the microwave radar and quickly enter the state of rapid capture and cooperate with the high-speed shelter for illegal evidence of collection. The international mainstream product is radar and high-speed camera to shoot, in speed, to shoot speeding. Lober proposed a method to measure vehicle speed with sound waves. It can be known the distance through the time difference between the transmitter and the receiver when, re receive this, when receiving the sound. However, the surf of the sensor is only a few weeks in the extremely dusty and harsh environment of the in intersection, so the detection method is not applicable. Mao described it an in-car laser radar system and showed a new modulation shell that enables in-car laser radar to measure the target range and speed with high precision. However, when they are many targets, the points measurement efficiency of laser speed measurements cannot meet the regulatory requirements. The most important thing is that the laser being in laser detection damage the human body many to the eyes, which is a particularly serious problem. Center described a Radar speed measurement system. Radar speed measurement is to calculate the movement speed of the measured objects based on the calculation of the frequency shift from the 
tipped off the receiver to reflect away. In layman's terms, it is to set up a radar transmitter next to the rod to transmit the radar beam in the direction of the rod and then receive the reflected echo of the car and determine the car speed through echo analyze. If the speed exceeds the uh, set value, the camera will be recommended to shoot. In summary, we choose the last one, the radar speed measurement method. It is more reliable and has a longer service life. And moreover, it can be adapted to various environments, even in bad weather conditions. And the second is our camera module. And we do a lot of calculation of the characters, and you can see from the screen. The first is the field, uh, field calculation. And you can see that. The second is the focal lens calculation. According to a survey of the related image device, the CCD pixel size is like as that. And considering that the camera angle is tighter when taking pictures, uh, there is a certain degree of compression in the vertical direction of the license plate shooting. The smallest detail on the license plate is one centimeter, uh, in which we will use for calculation. And consider that there is almost no compression when shooting position is at infinity. The closer the shooting position is, the greater the degree of uh, compression. So 25 meter is used for calculation. According to the three size and angle formula of a triangle. And you can see the whole calculation. And therefore the focal length of the lens is about 12 micrometer the second is the image size calculation the fixed image surface size under the field of view angle is calculated according to the uh, four core lens. Therefore, the select, selected CCD image size should be larger than this value we have calculated. This is the exposure time and the frame rate calculation. According to the exposure time calculation formula, So we get the T1 is 0.65 microseconds. And according to the survey, the reading time of CCD with a high frame rate is about that. So the frame frequency can be that can be about 143.88 Hz. Therefore, we select a CCD device with a frame frequency about 150. And this is the lightning uh, module. We choose LED because the lighting environment is very different during the day and the night, and the different application sites 
also have different lighting environments. So we add an a uh, constant light source and at the same time use the flash to feel the light to achieve a better photo effect. In constant light source we choose LED light source because it has advantages of low energy consumption, low life and high efficiency. LEDs can also be made into various shapes to meet our needs. And this is our MCU control module. This model receives the vehicle speed information and is sent from the speed measurement module to determine whether the vehicle is over speed. If a vehicle is over speed, the model sends information to the camera model to take pictures of the speeding vehicle. If the microcontroller determines that the vehicle is over speed, it will send information to the camera model to remind that the camera to take pictures of the vehicle for processing. And this picture shows the entire data transfer process. And the last, the last is the computer processing module. This model processes the license plate information and the model information after reading the photos of the overspeed car. In the license plate recognition, the program first reads the image taken after the vehicle is speeding and the displays the original image, then calculates the area of the license plate performance image cutting and extracts the license plate sparity. Finally, cuts out each character from the image and the match with the pre prepared template. Find the, tem uh, find the template with smallest error and uh, consider it as a corresponding character. We divide the entire procedure into two steps. The first step is to cut out the license plate from original image and to remove useless information. In this step, first we need to read the original image. Second, we convert the original image into a grayscale image and display the histogram. If the distribution is very uneven, use histogram equalization processing. Third, we use the robust operator to age detection. Fourth, we use image erosion to remove unnecessary edge information and keep only the outline of the characters on the license plate as much as possible. Fifth, we perform image expansion to smooth the image content to remove most of the edge information except the license plate. So, sixth, we remove all small objects from the image until only the license plate area remains. Finally, we define the area when license plate is local according to the white part of the final image, and then recast the original image to obtain the image of the license plate. The second step of license recognition is to cut out each character from the license plate image obtained earlier. First, we convert the license plate image into a grayscale image and draw a histogram. Second, in order to enhance the contrast, we perform a history equalization on the gray image. Third, we crack the tilt and uh, binarize the image. Fourth, we perform media filtering to filter out some useless information. Fifth, we calculate the position of each character and cut them one by one to obtain an image that only stores a single character. Finally, we use pre pre prepared character templates and uh, train them with a spot vehicle machine and then classify the single character separate from the license plate by the, training, by the trend model to obtain the license plate recognition results. And that is the result. For the test of the radar speed uh, model, we use a video speed measurement to compare with it to check with to check the reliable of the two uh, to check the reliability of the two the results show that the two measures of vehicle speed are almost the same within a range of 1 to 25 meters we are able to successfully capture over speed vehicles the whole system runs smoothly for the software part of the test we found pictures of 100 car to test at the same time, we are worried that the model of some car are not enough, so uh, except for the pictures, we take the 
by our image system. We also download some pictures from different databases on the internet. And the results can be seen in the figure and the table. After testing out of 100 photos used to identify license image, 93 were successfully identified. So the accuracy of the license plate and the model recognition is 93%. The system accomplished the design requirements well and achieved the purpose of photographing over speed vehicles. And that is the conclusion. In previous studies, people's equipment are usually relatively large and this causes them to take up a lot of space. In this place, we proposed a vehicle photographing and recognition which has high uh, precision. We directly connect the camera module to the speed measurement module which improves the efficiency and reduces money cost. At the same time, we also use image processing and template matching to complete the license plate recognition. Under normal conditions, the system have, has high accuracy and good practical ability. However, we still need to improve. Under bad weather conditions such as rain, snow, fog, and so on, the recognition accuracy of the system will be greatly reduced. Therefore, there is still, still room for improvement in accuracy. In the future work, we can upgrade the image equipment so that it has high penetration under the bad weather conditions and still take clear pictures. Additionally, if we can have more data sets uh, involved in training, we can also get high accuracy. And we must uh, acknowledge the Beijing Natural Science Foundation and they, found, they sponsored this paper. Thank you for your watching.
Dear professors, today I'm going to give a report about our paper, target registration based on fusing features of visible and two wavebands infrared image. Our di di directory is as follows. There are five points. The first is research background. The second is the target registration algorithm based on fusing features of VIS and two wavebands infrared images. Third, calculation of the similarity among the targets in VIS and two wavebands infrared images. The fourth is realization of the target registration of the VIS and the two wavebands infrared images. Fifth is experimental results and discussion. The expansion of human activity in time and space demands recognition of interested targets from complex background under all weather conditions. Hence, multi-source images are needed to realize this demand. In order to improve the accuracy of target re recognition of multi-scale source images, the same target of these images must be registered. Firstly, because of different different imaging principles. Images from different sources have different image features and the same target in this image have different target features. BIS images have rich color information and texture information to capture details of the target. However, adverse weather conditions render BIS images ineffective. Infrared images, by contrast, are not affected by the weather. Not many details are captured in infrared images yet. yet the edge information of the target, which provides the complete structure information about the target, is well preserved. Specifically, MWIR images are richer in texture information than LWIR images, especially in high thermal radiation regions. LWIR images, however, are brighter than MWIR images, although the same target has different target features in images from different sources. It has high system similarity among targets in these images. In order to recognize targets effectively under all weather conditions and at all times, the target features of the visible and the two wavebands in infrared images are fused in this paper based on the target similarity in different source images, realizing target registration of multi-source images. Here we present imaging characteristics of LWIR and MWIR images. First, mid-infrared images are richer in texture details and contain more information than far-infrared images, especially at the front cover engine of the car. Second, whether in the mid-infrared images or far-infrared images, in same image, the gray value of the, of the image pixel corresponding to the higher temperature object is larger and the corresponding area of the image is brighter. Third, the far, the far infrared image is overall brighter than the, the mid-infrared image. Fourth, both the mid-infrared image and the far infrared image retain the edge information and the shape information of the target, and the structure information is complete. Here we present the basic theory of infrared image imaging. There are three points. The first is Planck black body radiation law. The equation describes the law of black body monochromatic radiation with wavelengths and the temperature. The second, wind displacement law. This equation describes the change law of the energy size of black body radiation with wavelengths. The third equation describes the relationship between the flux density of black body and the zero dynamic temperature is given. <clears throat> Here we present the infrared detector imaging mechanism. The first LWIR camera. It uses amorphous silicon on cooled focal plane. It belongs to pyrometer which is a kind of heat detector. The second MWIR camera. <clears throat> it uses photovoltaic mercury Cad cadmium telluride detectors are used. <coughs> the most common examples of photovoltaic detectors is photodiodes. <coughs> the infrared detector converts the light signal into a voltage signal, and the magnitude of voltage signal is reflected on the image by the size of the pixel grade value. Based on the principle 
of the same target has the highest similarity among targets and images from different sources. Target features in VIS, LWIR, and MWIR images are fused by calculating the target similarity, which realizes the registration of the same target in these images. Here is our algorithm framework, which is focused on three points. The first, target similarity calculation of infrared to brand image. Second, the calculation of target similarity between VIS and LWIR image. The third is calculation of target similarity between visible light and infrared image. LWIR and MWIR images contain rich edge information and complete structure information. The improved structure similarity uses with these images and their edge information of different scales in portion scale space to calculate the multi-scale structure similarity. It combines the complete edge information with the structure information of the target in LWIR and MWIR images. Therefore, the similarity between targets in LWIR and MWIR images is calculated by using the improved structure similarity. The LMSG represents the value of multi-scale witness comparison. Here, uh, the CMSG, which is presented here, represents the value of multi-scale contrast comparison. The SMSUG here represents the value of multi-scale structure comparison. The equation here, SFM, is it is multi-scale brightness comparison, contrast comparison, and a structure comparison are weighted and multiplied to get SFM. VIS and LWIR images contain rich edge information and complete geometric shapes. However, camera motion causes change of scale, translation, and rotation between images. Cool environment moment, moment features can describe the shape information of the image, and it is environment, environment to scale, translation, and rotation. Hence, it can serve as effective feature of the target in VIS and LWIR images to realize target registration. Therefore, this feature factor of seven dimensions is extracted in this paper. After extracting the full environment moment feature of the target in VIS and LWIR images, respectively, cosine similarity <coughs> is used to measure the similarity between targets in VIS and LWIR images. The computational formula of cosine similarity is as follows. <coughs> It is the calculated formula of target similarity between visible light and infrared band image. <coughs> In this paper, pick, which is presented here, a zero represents the number of targets in the VIS images, and a one represents the number of targets in LWR images, and a two is the number of targets in MWIR images. NV represents the text, the index of the target in VIS image. NM represents the index of the target in LWIR image. NF represents the index of the target in LWIR images. The, real, the realization steps are as follows. There are six steps. The first, target region of VIS, LWIR, and MWIR images are extracted. Second, the similarity between targets in VIS and LWIR images is calculated by using cool environment moment feature and cosine similarity. Third, the similarity between targets in LWIR and MWIR images is calculated by using the improved structure similarity. Fourth, the similarity among the targets in the three kinds of images is calculated by using using by using these two kinds of targets target similarity of what mentioned. The fifth step for the target NF in the LWIR image, the similarity between the target NF and the target NV, as well as the similarity between 
Talk it on F and a topic on F mm. are calculated. Then, determine the similarity of this topic in the set with the maximum similarity of the topic on F or not. If yes, registration of the topic on F with topics in VIS and LWRR images is realized. If no, the value of an M is increased by 1 and the process aforementioned is repeated. If the maximum similarity of the topic on F is not found of all topics, in NWIR images are tested. The value of NV is increased by 1. The value of NN is reset to 1, and the process of all mentioned is repeated. 6. Determine whether an F is a permanent value or not. If yes, the program ends. If no, the value of an F is increased by 1. The value of an F and an F is reset to 1, and the steps <coughs> in this is repeated. The experimental images in this paper are VIS, LWIR, and MWIR images of the same scene. With extensive researchers, no other data sets was found to provide all these three types of source images for the same scene. Therefore, nine sets of experimental images are taken in, in, in the field. VIS images were taken by a digital signal lens, reflex camera, and the resolution is 1920 multiplied 1880 pixels. LWIR images were taken by a handheld infrared thermal imager with a single mass eyepiece, and the resolution is 384 multiplied 288 pixels. MWIR images are taken by a cool, cooler thermal imager, and the resolution is 320 multiplied 256 pixels. Due to the long shooting distance, the topics occupies a small percentage of pixels in all in entire images, which shows that the topics are small. The proposed algorithm in, paper, in this paper is named TRA VFM. Algorithm. The proposed algorithm and the target registration algorithms of VIS and OWIR I mentioned the literatures are applied to nine sets of VIS, OWIR, and MWIR images. The experimental purpose is to compare the accuracy of target registration or virus registration algorithms in order to verify, verify the suit the origin of the proposed algorithm. Each image in experimental image sets 1 to 5 includes three topics. While each image in experimental images sets 6 to 9 includes four topics. Images containing the same topic with the same aptitude in VIS, MWIR, and LWIR images are considered as a set of target images. Add up to 31 sets of target images. Images containing the same target with the same attitude in the eyes of the VIR images are considered as a pair of target images, adding up to 31 pairs of the target images. All experiments were carried out on ASUS G11 Whiteboard Flash Desktop computer with the Intel Core i7 processor and 8 GB memory. The, the operating system is Windows 7 and the experimental software is VS2010 plus OpenCV 2.4.6. The sixth registration algorithm are TRA, TRA VFN algorithm, NCCC algorithm, non MI algorithm, non MI gradient algorithm, and and triple C algorithm and HOG algorithm respectively. Topics and boxes of the same color, like red, green, yellow, and pink, represents the same topic. Specifically, topics in red boxes, green, yellow, and pink boxes are type 1 to type 4 respectively. For each image set processed by TRA, VFN, algorithm, and the upper left. Image is the LWR image. 
the upper right image is MWRI image, and the low, lower image is VIS image. Which image pairs consists of find the other five apostles? The upper image is the LWRI image, and the lower image is VIS image. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The TI VFM algorithm is compared with three algorithms, which uses similarity as index of target registration on the accuracy of target registration, the N triple C algorithm, and the HOP algorithm, the non MI algorithm, and the non MI gradient algorithm uses user information as the index of target registration. Yes, it is not suitable to compare the this TI VFN algorithm on the accuracy of tablet registration. The evaluation index put forward in this paper is the, is the accuracy of tablet registration. For the TRA VFN algorithm, the accuracy of tablet registration is defined as the similarity among targets registered correctly in VIS, LWIR, and WIR images. For the other three target registration algorithms, the accuracy of target registration is defined as the similarity between targets registered correctly in VIS and LWI images. It is shown in the table that in all 31 target sets, the TRA VFM algorithm has the maximum similarity value in 23 target sets. It is demonstrated that the accuracy of target registration of TRA VFM algorithm is higher than that of the FOG algorithm, the norm. The MRO, CRO, CRO algorithm and the NRO, COB, COR algorithm. In order to compare the correct rates of target registration of six tests that target registration algorithm participant, an evaluation index is put forward in this paper. The correct rate of target registration registration. We can see that the correct rate of target registration of TRA VFM algorithm is eighty three point eighty seven percent and those of the other five algorithms are less than 62%. The results above prove that TRA VFM algorithm has a higher correct rate of target reg registration that is much higher than the correct rates of OR, CRO, CRO algorithm and the other algorithms. Okay, in conclusion, in this paper, the shape and structure features of targets in VIS and LWIR and MWIR images are used based on the similarity among targets in image from different sources, which improve the registration accuracy of the same target in these images. The proposed algorithm and five registration algorithms with good performances are tested for target registration performance on nine sets of VIS, LWIR, and MWIR images. Experimental result shows that the correct rate and accuracy of target registration of the proposed algorithm are both superior than those of the other algorithms. In this paper, the target registration of VIS, LWIR, and MWIR images is realized, and the correct rate and accuracy of target registration are improved by the registration of multi source images. In the future, Features that better represent target information will be researched in order to realize target registration of images from more than three sources. Okay, my report is completed and thank you for watching.
Hello everyone. On behavior of my co-authors, I am going to report our work on deep learning based target activity recognition using FMCW radar. With the popular of smart city, smart mall, and smart home, context awareness has drawn considerable attention in recent years. Among all kinds of context information, activity of a target is of vital importance. Smart home needs to acquire the activity information of the monitored person in order to make an intelligent decision. Smart recommendation systems need to know the activity of customers in order to recommend it nearby restaurants or shops. Therefore, we concentrate on how to estimate target activity in this paper. As we know, ambient wireless signals such as Wi-Fi, FMCW, ZB, FM signals are available almost everywhere. If we move around a receiver, we will shadow the propagation of some of wireless signals inevitably, which lead to the variation of the received signal strength. If we perform different activities, the influence on the surrounding wireless signals will be different. Thus, it is feasible to realize activity recognition with ambient wireless signals. Our goal is to utilize FMCW transceiver to deduce the activity of the target. Compared with existing techniques such as wearable devices and computer vision techniques, its main advantages are as follows. Device free which eliminates the requirement of equipping some device with the target. Working dark, which makes it more suitable for lots of smart space applications. Better coverage, since the FM signal is available almost everywhere. Low cost, since the system can be made up only with low cost FM receivers. However, realizing activity recognition using FMCW signal is not that easy. Generally, the received FMCW signal is extremely noisy. It is hard to identify the unremarkable change of the signal influenced by the target. Therefore, the key challenge we face is how to extract discernible features from noisy FMCW signals and how to implement a system immune to noise. We will try to solve this problem. Deep network has been widely utilized 
to realize many computer computer vision tasks in recent years. It has a powerful ability to learn latent discriminative features from the data. There are many types of deep networks, such as deep fully connected networks, deep convolutional neural networks, deep recurrent neural networks, Generative adversarial networks, and so on. Different types of deep networks are suitable for different types of tasks. As for the target activity recognition task, deep fully connected networks and deep Convolutional neural networks are ideal choice due to their excellent ability of extracting discriminative features. Meanwhile, since of use 2D Doppler radio images as the measurement, thus the 2D deep convolutional neural network is the best choice for the target activity recognition task. Therefore, we leverage it in this paper. The working principle and implementation of the developed deep convolutional network is illustrated in this figure. The developed deep convolutional network is made up of a series of convolution operations, nonlinear operations, and polling operations. The convolution operation performs convolution on the kernel and input image and the ReLU operation as nonlinear information into the network. They jointly capture the informative information of the image. The polling operation done simply in the radio image. The above three key operations execute in turn for many times in the network. For simplicity, we term a convolution operation and a ReLU operation as a call block. The developed deep convolutional network is made up of two COM blocks, two max polling layers, two fully connected layers. The developed deep learning based target activity recognition system is shown in the figure 1. It mainly consists of three function modules Doppler radio image construction module, deep convolutional network module, and softmax classifier module. The Doppler radio image construction module acquires the reflection wireless signal from the target. Build the Doppler radio image of the target so as to provide measurement information for realizing the activity recognition task. The FMCW reader transmits a frequency modulated wireless signal to the target and then receives the reflection signal from the target. 
when the target locates at different dif distances with the receiver or performs different activities, the reflection signal will be different. The distance can be identified by the frequency of the re reflection signal and the activities determines the Doppler of the reflection signal. We firstly detect the target in a polar coordinate system by building the range angle of arrival map. We estimate the range and AOA of the target by performing 2-day fast foreign transform algorithm along the fast time axis and the receiver axis. With the range and AOA information of the target, we focus on the target by firstly performing beamforming on the expected target. Then, we perform 2D FFT along the fast time axis and slow time exercise to get the range and Doppler information respectively. As we have known the range of the expected target, we can further filter out the noise by using a narrow range filter. Finally, we integrate the Doppler information within a narrow range and get the expected Doppler radio image as shown in Figure 1. The Doppler radio image characteristic, the Doppler information change over time, which depicts the movement of the activity over time. We will leverage it as the measurement information to realize target activity recognition. The deep convolutional network module tries to extract discriminative activity features from the Doppler radio images by performing a series of convolution polling and ReLU operations. The softmax classifier module recognizes the target activity by projecting the activity features to the class space. To verify our proposed idea, we develop a target activity recognition system based on a 77 GHz FMCW hardware and conduct extensive evolutions. The system works on the 77 to 81 GHz band with one transmitter and four receivers. The layer size of the developed deep network are 64 and 48, 64 and 24, 32 and 24, 32 and 12, 16 and 1, respectively. Totally, we have 16 kinds of gestures. For each type of gesture, there are 50 samples. We randomly select 25 samples to train the system and leverage the remaining samples as the testing set. The developed hardware system and the experimental scenarios are shown in the figure. We compare the developed deep learning based activity organization system with other traditional methods. For example, the Doppler profile method, which uses the proposed Doppler radio image construction scheme 
to build radio image images and evaluate the similarity between different radio images directly to recognize the activity. The raw Doppler method, which used the Doppler information without any range and AOA filtering operation. The results are summarized in Table 1. From the results, we can discover that our proposed deep learning-based method achieves the best performance, which confirms the effectiveness of the developed deep network. Meanwhile, we also discover that the accuracy of Doppler profile method is better than the traditional raw Doppler method as well which confirms that the developed Doppler radio image construction method is valid. In this paper, we develop a novel deep learning-based target activity recognition system using FMCW hardware. We design a scheme to build the informative Doppler radio images and develop a deep convolutional network to extract discriminative activity features from the Doppler radio images. These strategies guarantee a good activity recognition accuracy. Experiment conducted on a 77 GHz FMCW radar indi indicates that the developed system could achieve an accuracy of 19.5.8% when there are 16 types of activities. Thank you for watching my presentation recording.
Thank you.
I am Yu Zhang. I would like to represent our TPC co-chairs to announce AirCon 2020 Best Paper Award and give closing remarks. Our Best Paper Award process is including following steps. First, nominations are received for Best Paper Awards. Second, a short list of finalists is created. Finally, the best paper is voted by the TPC on the winner. Now let me announce best paper award. First paper is perceptual quality enhancement with multi-scale deep learning for video transmission, a QOE perspective. The authors are from Tsinghua University. They are Han Chao Yi, Duan Yi Ping, Tao Xiaoming, Gao Yun Dong, Lu Jianhua. Congratulations. And the second paper is Energy Efficiency Optimization for Subcarrier Allocation based Swift in OFDM communications. 
authors are from Dalian University of Technology. They are Lu Xin, Guo Yu Ting. Congratulations. Now, let me announce our best student paper. The design of an intelligent monitoring system for human action. The authors are from Beijing Institute of Technology. They are Liang Xin, Lu Mingfeng, Chen Tairan, Wu Zhengliang, Yuan Fang Zhou. Congratulations. At the end of AICON 2020, we are looking forward to AICON 2021. AICON 2021 will be hosted by Qinghai Nationalities University, which was established in December 1949 and was Qinghai's earliest university of higher education. At last, we thank all of the authors who submitted the papers and all of presenters for great talks and the audience for the participation, great Q&A and keeping the community going in this uncertain times. We thank the EAI for their sponsorship of AICOM. See you next year.